The cell cycle is a complex process which ends with the production of daughter cells, two daughter cells with mitosis and four with meiosis. What are the different phases of the cell cycle? The first is interphase and then there is an M phase followed by cytokinesis. The M phase could be mitosis or meiosis. The interface is made up of three phases, G1, S and G2. And cytokinesis is division of the cytoplasm to form daughter cells. So we have G1, S, G2 and M. G1, S and G2 are the interface. M is the M phase, which is mitosis or meiosis, followed by cytokinesis. So the sequence of events in the cell cycle is G1, S, G2, M phase and cytokinesis. We'll start by looking at the interface. G1 is also known as the first gap phase. So in G1, the cell starts transcription of cell cycle control genes. And it also synthesizes proteins because it has to produce a copy of the organelles in S phase, which is the phase of synthesis, the entire genome of the cell is replicated. The centrosome is also duplicated in the S phase. The third is the G2 or the second gap phase. In the second gap phase, the cell starts preparing for division, which is mitosis or meiosis, and it checks for any DNA duplication errors. Assuming that this is the cell about to be replicated, we have G1, the first phase where the cell grows larger in size and copies its organelles. So these are the genetic material, the blue and the pink. In S, the entire genome is replicated. So now we have sister chromatids. So if in G1 the material was N, the genetic material is 2N in S phase. In G2, the genetic material remains the same but it starts checking for errors and prepares for division. In M phase, the cell could undergo mitosis or meiosis. Now what happens in mitosis basically is that a parent cell divides into two daughter cells and the amount of genetic material is the same, so ploidy is maintained. In meiosis, a diploid parent divides into four haploid daughter cells. So the ploidy is not maintained in meiosis, the genetic material is halved. So mitosis is what the somatic cells undergo and meiosis takes place in the germ cells or the gametes. So the next is cytokinesis. What happens in cytokinesis is the cytoplasm develops a furrow and it divides into two daughter cells. Now there are some important numbers and facts we need to know about the cell cycle. The human cells are typical eukaryotic cells. They divide every 24 hours and it's an approximation. The number may vary according to the different types of cells. So assuming that 24 hours is the entire cell cycle, when we divide it based on the phases, interphase takes up about 95% of the cell cycle time. And mitosis or the meiosis, the M phase, along with cytokinesis, takes approximately one hour. And of course, this does not hold true for all the cells. This varies with every cell, but most of the cells, the 95% of the time is uh, allotted to interface. Now, in a rapidly proliferating cell, in humans, the total cell cycle time is, say, 24 hours. So G1 would be 11 hours, S phase would be 6 to 8 hours, so we can say 7 hours, G2 would be 4 hours and M phase would take about 1 hour, along with cytokinesis. All of the mammalian cells have obviously a different cell cycle time, but in all of these cells, the S phase was found to be constant, which is about 6 to 8 hours. This information is based on a study done in 1960 by comparing human, rat, hamster and mouse cells. So why is this fact important? Why do we care about the S phase? 
So supposing this is a snapshot of cells who are which are dividing. So first we see how many cells are in S phase. Say three cells. So this is about one third of the cells. The next thing we already know the S phase takes about seven hours. So what can we do with these two numbers? We can find the cell cycle time. So we divide the S phase time by the number of cells in S phase. That is 20 hours. This method is still used to find out the cell cycle time. And I wanted to mention something here about cell types and the cell renewal time. In stomach, uh, it takes about two to nine days for cell turnover. In the epidermis of the skin, it's about 10 to 30 days. Hepatocytes take 0.5 to 1 year. Fat cells renew after 8 years. In lens cells, oocytes and CNS cells, they have no turnover. They exist for a lifetime. But cardiomyocytes, their turnover time is 0.5 to 10% per year. Now, it has always been assumed that the cells of the heart never replicate they don't heal themselves because after myocardial infarctions always scar tissue has been observed we never find new tissue growing there so we have always assumed that they don't replicate but they're replaced but at a very slow rate that was all about the cell cycle we'll be talking about what happens in mitosis and meiosis in the next videos thank you